you got on a good start here. The tempo is way too slow. If you look at the uh, directive at the left-hand corner, it says Andante Moderato. And it's got to be a, a walking, a moderately walking tempo. Uh, you're doing it about a 66 right now. Uh, well, when you began, it's a little faster now, but when you began at number four, it was about a 66. Uh, that's way too slow for an Andante Moderato. Slow tempo really doesn't have anything to do with expressive playing as neither does a fast tempo. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with uh, fast playing. Uh, the tempo really should not affect this, this style of, you know, whether it's fast or slow, the, the, the notes within the measure. The slower tempo uh, really at that point just isn't way too slow to be expressive and to keep the air keep moving along. So pick up the tempo just a little bit also. It's far too loud at the beginning. Only piano. And also everything must be legato. The entire section all the way down to uh, measure 39 should be very, very legato, very sustained, uh, continuously sustained throughout. Also, dynamics, I see very little dynamic contrast. He has a lot of crescendos and decrescendos in there that aren't happening. All needs to be observed very carefully in order to have a nice musical performance. Don't let the tone get distorted. Careful getting the wrong notes in 27. and 29 also. See, if you listen to it on the recording, when it's soft, you go slow, when it's loud, you go fast. There should be no equation between uh, dynamics and tempo either. Set a nice moderate uh, tempo, about 76, maybe even 80, and maintain that tempo, but just play the dynamics within that tempo. Good low register. Don't let it get edgy. Keep it control. Uh, your high A uh, consistently is flat all the way through the opening. And you hear it right here. Oops. Yeah, when you listen to your high A, you'll hear it consistently flat. Play it in the sharp two position rather than two position. It'll really help clean and clarify that right, right here also. Crescendo! Where's the big crescendo there? Yeah, an um, awful lot of missed notes. It sounds to me like maybe you haven't spent enough time finding out where all the notes are supposed to be. It's slow, methodical practice to make all the notes speak clearly right where they're supposed to be, in tune, good tone. Measure 52, measure 56. Check them out closely, right? Slow practice, find out where the notes belong. Tita, ta 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 ta. Watch your articulation, measure 62, measure 54. Very sharp on the G. Very flat on the A. Care for your rhythm there. Care for your rhythm. You gotta count out that dotted crotchet. Tia ta ta ti ta ti ta. It's supposed to go twice that fast. Tia ta ta tia ta ta tia ta ta tia ta ta tia ta tia tia.
understand why you do that uh, cello rondo. It's not written in the music at all. Uh, it really doesn't fit the piece itself either. There's no need to do it. Just play it like it's written. It's a chance to show off uh, a nice light uh, tongue on these fast uh, semi flavors. And also to do some real nice soft playing there with a nice big crescendo at 78. So there's really no need to change the uh, direction of the piece and the style in which the piece is written. You've got to be careful. You've got to be careful. Here, eh? It's a good quarter tone flat. Good quarter tone flat. Sharp too. Not too. Uh, yeah. You really need a lot of work with like that. It's not even rhythmically close. It's not a matter of interpretation. There have to be certain rhythmic things that are accurate. Stylistically, we need more contrast between 141 and 150. Dynamically, much more contrast. Yeah, F sharp. Now you hit an E. 